most people in America and around the world have sort of a self-protection capability, meaning they want to protect themselves from really seeing themselves. In other words, they want to bolster themselves up so that they don't fall into depression. They want to raise themselves up so that they don't get into any kind of, well, difficulties in their minds that costs them the ability to be productive and performing. That is a healthy part of the human attitudes in life. But the problem is when your behaviors are really so bad that you're lying to yourself about what you have and haven't done. The liars of America do that. People all around the globe have this self-protection capability. But a healthy person takes accountability for what they did do and the harm that it caused. They have the ability to reflect on their decisions, take accountability for what they've done, and make a distinction that what they did did cause some harm. Now I'm going to explain it a couple different ways so that you really let it sink in. I'm going to give you some examples so that you really understand what God is trying to preach in today's sermon. You see, everybody knows this concept of John 3.16. Any Christian loves to utter that one to cover their ass. That I am a sinner and Jesus died for me, therefore I'm no longer a sinner and heaven is okay for me. And that's sort of true and sort of untrue. You see, with the evolution of time and with the evolution of society and with the evolution of human beings in terms of how we look, and what we feel like and how healthy and robust we are today versus, say, cavemen or the early modern era, whatever that might have been, is what we're talking about is that we are fortifying ourselves against Satan. Now, Satan is a term that is often applied to a creature that has fallen from God's house. And that is somewhat truthful, both on the spiritual realm and on the people realm. On the spiritual realm, we have the fact that there are dark forces that have been created through whatever story you want to believe in, whatever mythology you like, whatever Bible story you wish, whatever part of the word of the Lord that came from whatever country you come from in discussion makes you understand. And what that means is 